I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Jesus debates the Pharisees with a gotcha moment, proper 25. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app. It's available in all major platforms and donate your tax deductible gift to higher things, higherthings.org slash giving. Your tax deductible gift keeps us filling our churches, youth, filling youth all over the world with this saving gospel. And you know what? In these dark times, we need this gospel. All right. Proper 25 in the three year series has Jesus in debating with the Pharisees. They had their shot. We had it a few weeks ago below. This time, Jesus responds with a question. The Pharisees were all gathered together. Jesus asked them a question saying, what do you think about the Christ? Whose son is he? And they said, the son of David. So everybody knows that the son of David is the Christ. David's son. King David, King Christ, one who will save us from David's line. He said to them, well, if he's David's son, how in the spirit does David call him Lord? Saying, the Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand and I will put your enemies under your feet. If then David calls him Lord, how can he be his son? And no one was able to answer him a word, nor did they ask him any, did they dare to ask him any more questions? No more putting Jesus to the test anymore. You know the answer to this, don't you? Everybody knows that, that the Christ is David's son. How can David call him Lord? How can he be David's son and David's Lord? You know the answer. David's son is the very son of God, born of the virgin, born under the law to redeem David and us from the law so that we might, be in, we might inherit and be saints. The answer to Jesus' question is David's son is David's Lord because David's son, the Christ, is the son of God. And only by faith can they know this. Only by faith do you know this. It's counterintuitive. David's son doesn't seem to be possible that David's son would be David's Lord, but this, what David hoped for, what the patriarchs prayed for, what we've been waiting for up until Christ's arrival on Christmas is that God would keep his promises and save us. And so David prays to his son who would be his Lord. David is the root of, uh, Christ is the root of Jesse, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the Old Testament fulfillment. So David's son is David's Lord because David's son is the Lord God himself taken on your flesh. It's a tricky thing to debate with Jesus. You'll lose every time. But you and I won't lose because we confess David's son as David's Lord and are saved in him. I'm Pastor George Barkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.